Looks like I got lots more bad weather rolling in. Not much I can do today other than collect rocks. Some nice sized rocks to play with. Maybe I can make a decent wall. Now I think I'm starting to get somewhere, but it's getting a bit rainy, so I'm going to go inside and finish up the painting. I put the final coat of paint on the walls, and now I need to uh, finish off the install on this door. Um, before, when we had put it in, this post had not been set firmly in place. Now it is. We still have a little bit of strike going on down the bottom edge. So what I'm going to do is set this hinge in a bit deeper and I may need to put a shim into the bottom hinge. Sinking that hinge in just a sixteenth of an inch deeper raise the tip of the door up enough so it no longer strikes the sill plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the rest of the screws and a few other bits of door hardware. You might notice I'm using three inch screws to install these hinges. Standard only uses about an inch and a half screw and it doesn't have much strength. This is a really easy security upgrade that you can do in your house. All you need is change the screws. still have to install the trim around the inside edge of the door, the door stop, but um, I'm going to go ahead and put this bolt in first because I really want this bolt not just to go into a screwed in piece, I want it to go straight into the solid wood on the side. So I'm going to put it in place, mark its location, screw it in. Mark the correct location for the bolt. I'm going to put it in place and just give the bolt a little tap. And then when I open the door, it'll be a nice little mark for me to put the hole. Last, I need to install this little gate latch. This will go in here and the uh, door latch will just go right there. I need to be careful of this thing because until I drill the hole and put the drawstring on the other side, I can easily lock myself inside the, uh, inside the building. This is just an old boot lace that I uh, have lying around. And feed that string through to the other side. And now, now I can pull that latch up. Let's hope I don't lock myself inside. Well, I guess.
Yes, I did. Ah, the door's sticking again down the bottom after I screwed the hinges in. I still have some adjustments to make. I can see from the wear marks on my door that this is where it's sticking. I'm going to take my hand plane, knock it down a little bit. That's working nice and smoothly now. I just need to put on a uh, a final finish coat and install the trim around the trim stop around the inside of the door. I don't have any trim out here, so I have to make my own. It's times like these when I really wish I had a generator and a table saw, but uh, I can get by with the tools I have. Okay, that should be enough to uh, trim to do the door, uh, but to finish things out, I need to put a camper on the edge. I'm just going to do that with a hand plane, and uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't take too long to do. I think I'm going to be a little bit short on trim, but let's just go ahead and get started anyway. I still have to close in this hole in the roof. Uh, I originally planned for something a little bit more elaborate, but um, right now I just want to get the roof closed in. So I'm going to hammer the shingles in place, put that plexiglass on top, and then uh, maybe I'll come back to that later. That's it for today, folks. Hopefully we'll have some better weather tomorrow. See you next time.